Welcome to part two of my four part series covering PVE tanking in the division. If you haven't already, I'd recommend checking out part one of this series, which lists all of the reasons why you shouldn't be PVE tanking at this point. But if you're a sucker for punishment or you just love being a shield bro, then stick around and we'll cover the best abilities and talents for your build. Guys, welcome back. It's Skill up here with part two of my four part PVE tanking series. You'll find links to the other videos in the description below. So check those out if you are keen. As I mentioned before, this series is the most comprehensive set of videos that I've put together to date. So if you like what you see and you find it useful, then don't forget to like and subscribe. So what abilities, mods and talents are best suited to this shield bro build? Well, at the moment, there's really only one viable way to tank in PVE, and that's with the ballistic shield. This is a shield that you bring up in front of you and it will block almost all incoming damage. I say almost all because flamethrowers can and do go through your shield and they will absolutely wreck you. So watch out for that. The shield is absolutely the core of everything that I'm going to be talking about during this series, so getting to grips with it is really key. For your ability mod choice for Ballistic Shield, Reactive Targeting is a must. This mod essentially doubles the health of the shield and also pulses enemies who shoot it. And just to be clear, that pulse does apply the bonus crit chance and bonus crit damage for all party members who shoot that enemy. So this is a, this is a nice little DPS boost. If you're running with an organized group, be sure to tell them to switch off their precision talent as they won't be getting any benefit out of that at that point. And Tactical Pulse provides way less utility to your group since you're getting the base value of pulse for free. So you may want to consider dropping that uh, ability altogether in favor of something else. So what other abilities should you be running with? Well, unquestionably, the best option here is heal modded with overdose. You'll find very often that you'll be taking a lot of damage with your shield and enemies will as they'll be flanking you and melee you from behind and your shield will very often break. It will fall apart, leaving you totally exposed. So that heal can be an absolute godsend when shit really hits the fan and you find yourself needing a boost. Yes, ideally, a support in your team will keep you topped up and healed for days, in which case you could run CC abilities like Flame Turret or Flashbang, but given that most groups aren't that coordinated, this is definitely your best bet. So let's talk talents. Our talent options here are really pretty limited, which makes this a fairly easy one to go through. First up, we have Shock and Awe, which gives you a 25% bonus movement speed when you suppress a target. Now, I'm not going to explain this now as we'll delve into that later in the video, but suppression is actually a big part of your role as a tank, so do take this talent. Next, we have Critical Save, which is one of your core talent choices. If you use a medkit when you're in your last bar of health, you gain 40% damage resistance. This is pretty massive, and just as an FYI, damage resistance buffs on you, such as this and defensive signature skill and those sorts of things, will also reduce the damage that your shield takes. So it's a great talent to run with. Next, we take Strike Back, which reduces active cooldowns by 20% when you reach low health. This build and playstyle will see you drop to low health very commonly, so having a faster recharge time on your heal or your shield is really critical. And finally, we take One is None. This is a talent that I've already done a video on already, so check that out in the description below if you're interested. But long story short, this talent has a 50% chance to refund a bullet when you land a headshot, which can significantly increase the size of your total magazine. This build will see you going toe-to-toe -to -toe with enemies using nothing but your pistol while you continuously shoot them in the head. So this talent can be a huge help as it will significantly reduce your need to reload. And that's actually it, guys. If you that's That's pretty much all you need to know about how to set up your abilities and your ability mods. If you like this video, then please drop a like and subscribe so that you can be notified whenever I put new division content out there. In the next video, which will be available tomorrow, we'll be covering the topic that I'm sure you're most eager to hear about, and that's gear and weapons. So click through to that next video in order to watch it when it becomes available. And that's it for now, guys. Thanks. Take good care, and I'll see you in the dark zone. Bye-bye.